Good, how you doing, man? I think just repetition throughout the week. You know, the more we get in here and communicate, get on the same page with Matt, Art knows, you know, what each player kind of consists of. And the more that we can get in here and just rep stuff out, we're going to be fine. You know, when you miss a number one like that, obviously it hurts, but we got to have a next man up mentality. I think that's kind of Arthur's MO. You know, the next guy's got to step up. You know, obviously we're worried about Cal. You know, we're here for him. We love him. Um, he's got some stuff that he needs to work out, and uh, but he knows that we're here for him. But yeah, you know, obviously when you lose an elite receiver like Calvin, it's going to hurt a little bit. But it's got to be next man up. His situation is something that I know is very important to you. You've been yeah. very outspoken about. Do you reach out to him? So Calvin, so Calvin's my locker mate, if you will. Um, so me and him have had some conversations, you know, in the past couple of weeks, and um, he knows that I'm there for him. You know, and I think when you have stuff like that come up. As long as people around you make themselves available, I think that's the biggest thing. Um, you know, I'm not jumping down his throat, FaceTiming him and call him, calling him. You know, I'm kind of putting the ball in his court. And he, he knows exactly. And uh, he knows that. He knows that I love him, and I'll do anything for him. Yeah, it's a very unique relationship. You know, um, obviously when I was in Baltimore, we had a pretty special relationship. Me, Nick, and Mark. Um, it's just it's a it's a really fun time when you have two guys like that that make coming to work enjoyable because um, this thing's a grind you know it's it's not for the faint of heart you know when you're playing 20 plus weeks in a season so having two guys like that in the room that kind of make it fun and lighthearted makes coming to work pretty easy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I think that's the beautiful thing of the NFL. It's like a melting pot. You get different backgrounds, different cultures, and, and you're thrown into the same room and you become best friends. Um, I consider those two guys my brothers. Uh, I'd do anything for them. It just, like I said, it just makes coming to work really fun when you have a dynamic like that. All the time. All the time, and he hates it. But uh, I think Arthur has put it at the front of his list that he wants to get Lee's career uh, high done here. So we, we joke around and kind of you know poke fun at him, and he loves it. But it's a good time. You know, I kind of lean on Lee pretty heavily, you know, as far as like pass pro and, and, and the run game and stuff like that, just kind of like I did in Baltimore. You know, obviously he's one of the best to ever do it at the position. He's done it for 11 years. So I think it'd be pretty stupid of me not to pick his brain and ask stuff. And then obviously Kyle's an elite receiver doing his stuff on the outside. So having both of those, you know, ends of the spectrum to pull from is pretty awesome. I think you talked about Kyle as fun and lighthearted. Yes. We just see kind of Professor Pitts out here. <laughs> right? Yeah. What's he like when he's not in front of us? He's really fun. Uh, me and him kind of have our own inside jokes. We go back and forth because they put a lot on our plate and it's pretty stressful. So I try to keep it as fun as I can. You know, obviously it's time it's time to lock in. We lock in and we get the job done. But you know, it's you got to have some fun in there too. Time and a place, and uh, we definitely find the time. Yeah, I was, I was telling them, it's one of those things, when stuff like that pops up with your mental health, you don't want people jumping in and offering, this is the way to do it, this is what you need to do. It's just, we're here for Calvin and we're making ourselves available. And then it's, it's his job to reach out wherever he sees fit uh, to whoever he sees fit. And uh, Calvin knows that I'm, my phone's open all the time and uh, he can call me with anything. <laughs> How about that? How did you deal with that? I don't even pay attention to it. That's above my pay grade. I'll let I'll let Terry and them figure it out, but I think it passed, so I'm still here. Are you, are you, how do you assess the way you play so far this season? I think that I've done everything that I've been asked to do, and that's all I can do with my opportunities. Whatever Arthur and those guys scheme up and put me in the position, I'm going to try to do it as best as I can. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. Thank you all. <laughs>